Hi there, Gemini, Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your October 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com, as some of you may know as Heart Divine, also with my previous alias. Now, if you're new to my channel, know that I do monthly intuitive forecast love readings and astrology tidbits and forecasting. And if this is something that you're interested in, then please do consider subscribing. Now, um, let's talk about the month of October 2020. I feel that, you know, there's going to be a lot of engagement that will be experienced by a lot of Gemini, a lot of talking, communication, and all of that. However, I also feel that there is a tendency for some form of blockage or some form of psychological discord that you might be experiencing in a very personal level as well. You know, it's just that the energy that I'm picking up. So um, how you battle that is going to be different from each and every individual out there. So um, yeah, but I feel that Eventually, though, this is going to help you sort out any loose ends that you have in the past or any loose ends that you might need to overcome. So, um, yeah, um, without any further ado, let's just go into the reading and see what's going on with you guys. So your first card is here, the Queen of Cups. This, is, this could be a card that represents you right now. Maybe something that you're feeling at this moment in time. And this is all about maybe you are emotional or very intuitive or you are just in a situation right now where in you are having some form of comfort in life. However, we are being crossed over by the Eight of Swords right here. So yes, you are emotional, but at the same time, maybe, you know, um, this is affecting you in a very not so positive way. I don't see it it as a negative way but maybe um, your emotions or your impulses in life is not going to benefit you this month this is basically a signal that whenever you act on emotions if you act and react based on your own emotions this might not exactly help you as a result because we have here the eight of swords you know the Eight of Swords, you know, the woman is actually very, very much a, uh, has a blindfold. So they're not seeing exactly how things are in reality. So um, the negative side with the Queen of Cups is that, you know, they can be very fantasy-like, very, they can be very idealistic, but their ideas is more on their, what they are feeling inside of them. So maybe you are, you know, maybe you want to, to do something this month maybe you want to conquer something or there could be a goal in mind or you are envisioning something uh, maybe it has a lot to do with relationships has to do with work as well since we do have the 10th house activated over here um, you have a vision that you want to accomplish and it could be something very beautiful even however um, with the Eight of Swords right there and take note that over here we have the Tower card also. Um, it gives me a feeling that, you know, if you just base everything upon intuition or upon your own feelings, that might not exactly work to the best of you. So you might need to, you know, really um, see the pros and cons of a situation wherein you are really thinking based on your mental capabilities and on what you feel. So it's like checking in with your mind and with your heart before making any drastic decisions. In other words, I also will not recommend you to, to take any drastic actions at all i mean it's not recommended for this month uh, however this could be a month wherein you might need to reflect on something maybe improve a situation is possible with all of these cards like we do have the two of cups over here which is all about relationships all about love and collaboration partnerships and all of that and we have here the eight of cups beside that so 
it gives me a feeling wherein maybe you're not seeing something. Maybe you are you are seeing the good side of a certain situation or partnership or business partnership. However, this could be a month wherein you might need to hold off in that or maybe you need to make some form of decisions or um, you need to correct on something. I just kind of feel that uh, you are on the right path, yes, but there are revisions that needs to be done. So this is not a time for you to be hasty at all. And I kind of feel that you are going to feel this as well. In your recent past, we do have the Eight of Cups. It could be a message wherein you have experienced some form of emotional blockage or you have retreated on something. I kind of feel that with the energy of the Death card all at the same time, there is some form of transformational energy that might occur for you or this could be a signal wherein it's not as if that it's not meant for you. It's more of this is not the time to pursue and do something. This could be a time wherein you need to take a pause on something or you need to, you know, change something. This is not about you escaping whatever situation that you are going through, you know. Some sometimes we just want to quit um, a particular part of our life and then venture to another part because that is the easier route. We can start all over again. But with this, I kind of feel that this is not about escaping things but more on overcoming your own situation by drastically making the necessary actions for things to improve. So especially with the death card here this is the card of endings and new beginnings all at the same time and i kind of feel that in most cases it's a rebirth you know there is something that you need to restart redo um to start things all over again that kind of energy over here we do have the eight of pentacles which is you know a very work oriented energy it's all about you know hard work effort making um Making an effort on something or having patience, you know, as you work on some form of project or venture in life. So this is, you know, with the energy of emotions and practicality, I kind of feel that these two themes needs to be combined together. So it's telling you to not just base everything on practical means, but to also check in if you're really happy with the things that you're doing. And if we take a look at this in a very relationship or love level, this could be a situation wherein it's okay to get blinded by love <laughs> from time to time, but you need to draw the line. You need to draw some form of boundaries on what is acceptable and what is not in a certain relationship if you really want for things to prosper or if you really want for things to continue. So um, I also feel that, you know, um, you might be driven for some form of change during this time. We do have this tower card um, as another focal point with here. It makes me feel that, you know, that change that you will, will be doing, I kind of feel that you are going to be driven to doing something and making a change on something. However, it, it has a drastic feel to it. So it could be a change that can change an, a situation or a relationship in a in a wide scale so i really don't know how this might be playing out since i'm doing this reading in a very general level however i kind of feel that if this is about a relationship this is a relationship that needs change and change is definitely going to occur whether you're ready for it or not whether you like it or not it's like your unconscious mind or unconsciously you are being pushed by destiny or faith to to make some form of changes in the relationship and that can bring a very positive change as a result of course this is not going to be felt easily maybe it happens later on but definitely there is some form of improvement so if we start from this card ending here we can see that you know you are experiencing some form of challenge 
and eventually leading for you to take action with a major change in mind, creating some form of new beginning, and that will lead to some form of continuity in whatever venture that you are dealing with right now. We have the Ace of Pentacles, The this is the Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Wands is really a card of, you know, standing your ground and you know overcoming a situation overcoming problems in a relationship even and maybe you need to look back again look back on what is not working and work on that you know um, so if there is a problem with the foundations of a relationship you might need to sort that out sort out what is the big the big problem in the foundation and fix that foundation if you want to change things in the relationship so we do have the the world card as the last card of the reading and this is actually a very positive omen which is telling us that you know the real it's all a, when it comes to relationships and the world card it's a card of continuity you know things are being continued so i don't see this as a point of escaping uh, a situation or trying to break free or break away as in a situation this is about you um, trying to transform something in the relationship trying to overcome something and make something really better for the best of all parties involved, which is actually a very positive thing. So there are major changes and major beginnings that might be happening. And there is also a possibility that it all comes to um, making discussions and sharing what you feel, sharing what is in your heart and, you know, sharing reciprocation and works working something out between you and your partner might be a bigger factor here in place. This, If this is something to do with work or, uh, you know, business endeavor, this could be a sign we're in. You might be on the right track, but it, it's not necessarily telling you to start the venture here and now you know you need to plan everything take a slow step you know step by step as you go on so that you will get the most out of the outcome and there could be big success for you at the end when the time is ripe and when the time is right so it has that form of energy so um um yeah it's actually a very wonderful card it, it's basically telling us that this month is all about transformation for a lot of gemini people out there whether you have your sun moon or rising sign in the sign of gemini and that's actually a pretty much of a wonderful thing so um i kind of feel that whatever you know this ace of pentacles and Two of Cups is really telling us that there could be, you know, an important relationship, important connection or important partnership that needs to be uh, either is, is going to manifest or it could be a big part in what you are going through. It could be an important relationship in your life that needs to encounter some form of change even. Now, we also have in my Lenormand card over here the following card this is like a confirmation on or additional message on what we need to know and yeah the cards are all a mess right now <laughs> so we have the stork in the letter card and this is about news it could be good news it could be you know news of change even you know and the stork and the garden could be telling us about um it could be a news that is coming from your social networks or you might be seeking help from someone or someone is going to help you, vice versa. The letter and the writer card, I don't really need to tell you guys what that means. That this really means that, you know, someone is going to be entering your life or some form of news is definitely going to be entering and it does end up in a very wonderful way. It basically telling us that there is change and it leads to some form of good news it could be with a new acquaintance or a person that you already know is going to be of uh, of help to you when it comes to love though i don't see this as a very romantic way but maybe this is a situation wherein you might need to talk to someone that you already knew or maybe um 
there is an element of friendship over here that is coming in very strongly. So, um, yeah, I just kind of feel that it could be another possibility to this is that you might be wanting to change a friendship into love and you are, you know, that is basically the energy that you're focusing during this time. So, um, yeah. So, like, again, I, I just kind of feel that, you know, there could be some form of new beginning, like I said earlier. And and it's quite um, very surreal because there is uh, some form of little steps happening as well, some form of balance needing, careful planning. It's like, you know, it's tell the, the bigger big, biggest message that I'm picking up really here overall in the reading is that you should you cannot you shouldn't be hasty when it comes to making decisions and talk things out in a very calm and balanced manner if you want to you know um get the most out of the this beautiful energy and the most important thing is to work something out with the people involved in your situation and do don't do not do things in a very solo way you know don't make any decisions based upon your own um, thoughts ask and seek advice that is going to be what's going to be helping a lot of gemini people out there so um anyways um this is my reading for you guys gemini for any personal reading that are in depth, detailed, and specifically done for you, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by crazy.com. And with this, I end this video and we'll see each other again next month. Goodbye, guys.